Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to then log, log in and shut down activities on your Windows 10 device. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and will apply for Windows 10 Professional and Higher Editions as well as Windows 7 and Windows 8 devices. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, type in Group Policy, Again, keep in mind if you're on Windows 10 Home Edition, you will not have this option. So we're going to go ahead and just open up Group Policy here. And we're going to expand this window a little bit. And you want to expand underneath the Computer Configuration section. You want to double click on Windows Settings right here. Double click on that. And then you want to now go underneath Security Settings. So expand that should be a local policies expand that one as well and now finally there should be something that says audit policy go left click on that one time now on the right panel you want to go locate the audit logon events policy and double click on it you want to check mark books both success and failure then select apply and okay so once you've restarted your system, all login and shutdown activities should be reported to the event viewer. So now, let's say you want to go view these events. We're going to go open up the start menu, type in event viewer, go ahead and open that up. Expand the Windows Logs folder, and then go left click on Security. Now, once you shut down or restart your computer, and there should be a list of all login and shutdown activities over here. It just appears it's loading the event viewer right now, so just taking a couple seconds. There will be options that should show in here, but you're going to be looking for two specific event IDs. So, 4624 is a login, and 4634 is shut down. So if you want to go ahead and just sort and locate these specific instances, we can go ahead and select filter current log. And then you can change, you know, how far back you want to go. So last 30 days, custom range, whatnot. And then you want to go type in where it says all event IDs right here. This is a placeholder. You want to delete that. So again, 4624 is login events. So 4624 and 4634 are shutdown events. Now if you want to see both, you can just do a comma next to one. So you could do 4624 comma 4634. And then once you're done with that, you go select OK. Apparently it looks like some of them are already being logged in here which works out in our case and you can see when we set up our date parameters you can see when each log on or log off was occurring so it appears most of these are log ons here which makes sense in my case I haven't done too many shutdowns but you can see all the log ons reported here so pretty straightforward process here guys I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye